speed in time for the Ruffalatas. Uh, Pokalis area. Ruffalata, red slate ornamentals. Come from India. South India. Kerala. Great place for food. Um, I've got a community of them uh, that came from one of the males that I had previously. Um, I've posted pictures of three males that I had communally in an EXO, in BTS, and Arachnophiles, and various other forums. So, have a look, see if you can find them. Worth a look. Now I've got slings. I've got 15 living in one enclosure, and 17, which I'm selling off gradually, in another enclosure. All living together. They've all been living together for quite a while now. And it's time for feeding, which is great fun. So, here we go. Open up the tank, stick the crickets in, and watch, yeah! This is the enclosure I've got for the Ruffalatus, as you can see. Really nice enclosure that I had made. And now I can't get them made, they don't turn out to be too e economical. It's a perspex lid here, little slide door, ventilation. The rest of it is glass. A great way of feeding pokies, when you've got them in a community, especially as I have, a community where their mum's still living with the slings, is to get one of these available at all shops. It's just a, a bottle top cut off. It's great for catching uh, runaways, but also great for pouring in the crickets and making sure they go in the same hole. Now I could do this quite easily without this, but this is just a good demonstration of how this works when you're feeding communities. So, for starters, we'll open up this lid. Lovely little lid, this. This makes it very easy to feed them. Oh, sorry about all the jogging. And in goes this. You can do this with the uh, cereal tubs that a lot of people use for uh, pokies as well. And then it's a matter of pouring them in. Right now. Feeding time! Open a box of crickets and pour them in. That's how they're working. As you can see, they're just dropping in. You get the escapee. But it certainly reduces the amount of escapees. And down they go. And it's already happening down here. You can see the rust grabbing the crickets. Just super. There's one in there. Out they come. At this size, the pokies. I doubt if they could bite you, but they never tried. I've never seen a threat pose from any of them. In fact, I've never actually seen a threat pose from any poke. Uh, but these are very communal species, so well worth considering if you're looking at getting your first pokey community. There's 15 ruffalatas in here. Feeding is the best time to see them all. Now what quite often happens is they'll grab a cricket and they'll run off and find their own little place to eat it. Now, I've quite often observed more than one pokey grabbing a cricket and sharing it. And it almost looks as if they're uh, going into the breeding post or uh, threatening or fighting. For the first time I saw it I was rather worried. But um, I've seen it with the pokies, and I've seen it with uh, the community of OBT slings that I had, and I've seen it with the community of P. Cambridgei slings that I had. So they do share food. Great to see. Well, good fun, hey? Worth getting a community? Yeah. That's all for today, folks. Bye.